The truth is, we are programmed to be poor, and everything in our society is carefully planned for the intention of us to never become financially free, to work tirelessly, to wreck our health, our happiness, and to always be in this ongoing hamster wheel state of mind. Today, I want to talk about how they're working to keep you poor, and how you can escape. And once you escape, you will never be poor again. The first way they keep you poor is by educating you. From the age of five, you're placed in a school that teaches you everything you need to know about the world around you. But does it really teach you? Are you actually learning? Or are you just force-fed information that they want you to believe? There's two things that are really concerning to me about the school system. For one, it doesn't teach you anything about financial education. Money management and your personal finances is the most crucial skill you will need to build your wealth. There's so many careers that schools are preparing you for, but once you make the money, you have no idea how to manage or leverage it. And they don't teach it because they don't want the 99% to turn into the 1% or else there wouldn't be any control or hierarchy. A social workforce wouldn't exist. But as an individual, you have the power to cross the line. So how do you get into this 1% sphere? You have to be an autodidact or a self-taught learner. That's what most millionaires and billionaires are. So how do you educate yourself? Books are a great way to set the foundation. Unfortunately, books aren't going to give you the full scoop of knowledge. Some wealthy individuals, when they write books, they already have the intention that it's going to reach millions of people. And there's a lot of ways to make and manage money that fall into a gray area as far as the law and ethics go. So for someone to come out and publicly say how they made money, it could be a big liability for them. It's not very easy to be uncensored in this day and age. So what I recommend for people to do is to make real life connections with these people. You'll hear a lot of influential people say, find a mentor. Well, this is what they mean. Go to these networking events, join organizations like chambers of commerce, talk to these people, shake some hands, make connections, because eventually they'll open up and they'll tell you a lot of things that you won't find out anywhere else. Besides the lack of financial education, another thing that is really concerning to me is that schools don't teach you to be in control. They teach you to be under control. Instead of being a leader, you're taught to be a follower. The moment you raise your hand and you say something that actually makes sense and gives a new perspective to something, you're immediately shut down. Albert Einstein once said, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing that it is stupid. And with all these exams in school, it's doing a lot of mental damage because it's instilling the idea that we are stupid. But we are not. When the IRS comes after you telling you to pay up because you were stupid enough to overlook something, you need to say, hold on, no, here's the numbers, here's the evidence, I'm within the law, you need to check your numbers. Don't be afraid, know the law, build a team around you, your partners, your legal team, and fight for what you believe in. When you stop fearing, you begin to extract value from not only your life, but the things around you. Another way they're keeping you poor is by making you work. Work does not make you free. To truly understand this, let's take a step back and look at the life of an average person. An average person earns an average salary. They land a good job, their standard of living goes up, in turn their expenses also go up. With each raise, they might want to buy something that they've desired and justify that they deserve it due to their hard work. They figure that their expenses will eventually level off and their salary 
salary will keep increasing as they get more experience and they keep getting promoted, right? Not so fast. Realize the economy is optimized to transfer individuals' income into corporate profits. As people's salary increases, their tax obligations increase. As they get older, their health insurance and medical bills become more expensive. As they get married and have kids, they start to pay for their child's education, a car, a wedding. On top of all this, there's always that possibility that they might lose their job and not be able to find another one with similar income for months, if not years. Their health might suffer, their family's health might suffer, funerals, they might get divorced or sued, the economy can crash, inflation might go up, and I can go on and on and on. All these events are likely to keep happening over and over again in a person's life and can drastically wipe them out financially. I mean, for real, what are we left with? We're being robbed of our money because we don't plan ahead and we keep upgrading. To be rich, you need to cut yourself out of this economic model that they've created for us. So how do you escape? Do the complete opposite of what a typical 99 percenter would do. Don't go to work. Stop showing up as an employee and become an investor. Find value. Value in your time and in your money because there's no difference between the two. Maybe you choose to save up for an entire year's worth of rent money for next year. And in that next year, you start a new venture and you work really hard at it. Maybe you start a business. Maybe you go into rental real estate. Or maybe you decide to do all these things while you're working and slowly deviate from your job once you have enough passive income being produced from your investments. You need to constantly change challenge societal norms. If you're making $100,000 a year, you're expected to live a certain way in a certain community, but maybe you don't want that standard. Maybe for the next 10 years, you want to grind it out and live below your means so the rest of your life you don't have to work at all. So when people say they want to get rich quick, I tell them there's no such thing in a healthy way. Sure, you can eat ramen noodles for years and have sleepless nights, but that does a lot of damage to your health. And plus, if you live longer, you make more money, don't you? People always forget that. Well, you guys, this concludes the video. I hope you invest in your health, most importantly, and be patient with the process. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.